Hello everybody! Hi, I'm Ron. And I'm Adora. And we are from the Youth Jury and Critics Program of the Singapore International Film Festival. Welcome to the last episode of Youthfully Speaking. So today we will share with you a summary of the entire Youth Jury Program this year. It's been such a wonderful few weeks of debates and lectures and film screening so far, don't you think? Yeah, indeed. Do you remember the first day when we met, when we were all so yeah. wide-eyed? And fresh and innocent and all that. And we didn't know what to expect. Yeah. I remember the first lesson, it was actually a nine-hour long session, right? Oh, I remember at the first uh, stage, we introduced ourselves first. Then afterwards, we were introduced by Pui Yi, who was the program manager for SGIFF, to the whole film festival itself, as well as the selection process for the Southeast Asian Short Film Competition. Oh, and I remember um, Jeremy and Alphonse from Cindy, yeah. they came and we had a really heated debate. Yeah, on yeah. all the different films, yeah. which really um, prepared us when we were making our decision for the Youth Jury Prize later on. Wow, those were a very few intensive debates. Huh? And yeah. I remember the last few hours, we actually had to watch, uh, how many films? Ten films. Ten films, Ten yeah. films. Two programs, yeah. Yeah, that was really intense. Yeah, yeah so some of the people who came to lecture us include To Han Ping, who talked to us about film experimentations and the Singapore film research practice, as well as Tong Kei Wee, who talked to us about the importance of film archival and literacy. And you really cannot forget Dr. Lee Sang Jun, who talked to us about the importance of film festivals. Oh, but I remember the one day that we had to go to four locations. Oh, yeah. After um, Dr. Lee's talk, we had a mini excursion. I remember there was the bus waiting for us. Yeah. And we went from one yeah, place, one place to together. Another. Four places in one day. Yeah. yeah. We actually went to the projector yes, 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 to yes, meet Sharon. Yeah. And we went through like the entire, the entire projector. projector right? yeah. And even, where did we go? The backstage. Is yeah. It? yeah, the backstage. Yeah, yeah. And we went to Mocha Chai and we met um, Chai Yi Wei as well, who uh, shared with us about post-production yeah, for yeah, films. Yeah. Afterwards, right, I know we went back to the SGIFF office where Pamela Ho, she talked to us about crafting stories from interviews and research from a journalist's point of view. And yeah, the next week, I fondly remember John Dui. He was talking to us about how to write film reviews for the wider audience. Yeah, where we also had another round yeah, of heated debate. debate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the so, is there anything that you'll miss a lot from this entire process? Well, the first thing that I'll miss is probably our mentor, Victor Fana. I just can't forget the new perspectives that he brought to us in terms of film philosophy, about the perspectives regarding Asian cinema, Chinese cinema, and how he used to encourage discussion between us and enlighten us about how film discussions work. I think as a senior lecturer from the King's College London, he really broadened our perspectives by asking us to compare Asian film theory and Western film theory and the differences and the similarities between them. And I remember we did meditation together as well. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, we were told to just close our eyes and just observe the sounds yeah. around us. Uh, you close it. Oh my god, do you think we closed it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I really appreciate the, how the sound design in films work, for one. Mm -hmm. And also, the aspects of which our body physically reacts to the movie. Mm. Ron, so why don't you just share a bit about what the Youth Jury does after we watch all these fantastic movies? Oh, okay. So basically, the Youth Jury has to either write a few articles about the movies in the Southeast Asian short film competition, or create a video essay about those films which was introduced in this year's SGIFF Youth Jury Programme. In my article, I wrote about the significance of apartments. And as for my video essay, I wrote about the significance of smoking and cigarettes in the films itself. And I really learned a lot about the process of writing about film and creating a video essay from the process of writing those two articles. What about you? So for me, I did a video essay as well as two interviews. Mm. So for my video essay, I wrote about my favourite film. It's A Room with a Coconut View oh. by Tulapop Sunderland. In the video essay, I shared about how Tulapop uses uh, kitsch aesthetics, chem aesthetics to show the over formalization of um, tours oh. as well as our reliance on technology. I also did an interview with uh, the director of Imminent Imanen, Carlo mm. Francisco Manatat, as well as Tinjerin Liu, who's the director of My Lady M. Interesting, interesting. So I attended the Southeast Asian Short Film Competition program too to see the directors and it was really amazing to hear from them after we discussed them for over a month yeah, after we watched a film by ourselves. 
And on the last day of the event, we actually talked to Micah and Kirsten, who actually shared with us their own voting experience for the Southeast Asian Film Award. And it's very enlightening to see how their voting process compared with ours. And it was so encouraging to see how Aditya Ahmad won both the Youth Jury Prize Award and also the Best Director Award. And that's a really big achievement. I heard he's only 29 years oh, we, old. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. I think we have to really step up. What are we doing? What are we doing for our lives? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, but it's okay because um Ryan, right? Ryan, oh, yeah. yeah. Ryan, our star, he won um the best youth jury prize. Yeah. I'm really speechless, but I guess if I can try to speak on behalf of the Youth Jury Critics program this year. He really deserved it. Like, he really added in so much to our conversations regarding the film. Yeah, and I was also very proud of our very beautiful Isabeth and our super charming Alphonse. Yeah. yeah, when they went out to present the prize to Aditya. And I think this festival has been really great. Mainly thanks to Wei Tie, to yeah, Mika yeah, and yeah. Si En, who are like our parents. Yeah, right? and they babysat us throughout the entire like two or two months or so. The oh. process. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So all in all, it was a great experience and I am very grateful for this really once in a lifetime opportunity. I really look forward to seeing what the youth jury is going to do next. Like maybe yeah. their, the next book or, or the next feature film. Yeah, hopefully we'll see it at the next um Southeast Asian short film program. Yeah. Or maybe the best Asian feature award. Oh wow. Yeah. Maybe it's you, or maybe it's me. Mm. <laughs> so if you're still young, do consider applying for the Youth Jury and Critics Program. You'll definitely not regret it. We really hope that you enjoyed this year's program as much as we did, and we are gladly looking forward to what the next year's SGIFF has in store for us. Do continue reading our articles, video essays, and our podcasts. Thank you so much. Bye! Bye.